வணக்கம் வெல்கம் டு ஆல் திஸ் செக்ஷன் இன் திஸ் செக்ஷன் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி மெட்டலார்ஜி வாட் இஸ் மெட்டலார்ஜி த ஸ்டடி ஆஃப் மெட்டல்ஸ் அண்ட் நான் மெட்டல்ஸ் ஆர் கால்ட் மெட்டலார்ஜி வி ஹாவ் எ லாட் ஆஃப் மெட்டல்ஸ் அண்ட் ஃபியூ நான் மெட்டல்ஸ் இன் திஸ் பீரியாடிக் டேபிள் வி சி ப்ளூ கலர் ஆஸ் மெட்டல் அண்ட் எல்லோ கலர் ஆஸ் நான் மெட்டல் இன் அவர் டெய்லி லைஃப் வி யூஸ் மெட்டல்ஸ் லைக் அயான் copper gold silver etc and non metals like carbon nitrogen oxygen phosphorus like that how do we get these metals we get it from earth crust some metal exist in free state but most of the metals they are in complex state they are called minerals even though we have a few minerals we use only one mineral that is called ore from this we can prepare the metal economically and a large amount the extraction of metals are in three step first concentration that is washing second preparation third purification that is refining how do we concentrate we use many methods especially four methods one gravity process two magnetic separation three fourth flotation method fourth chemical method let us see how to concentrate the first one gravity process first of all the ore should be finely powdered and we use water and compressed air or we use steam what happens when it is passed through on the finely powdered metals the lighter particles washed away and heavier metals settled down this is also the same method that is hydraulic pressure or we call it jigging method the pistons moves down and what happens the lighter particles moved up and the heavier particle settled down magnetic separation we use magnetic roller and conveyor belt we pour the finely powdered ores on conveyor belt now the ores moves on the substance which has magnetic property they are attracted it is settled near it falls on near and the non magnetic substance they falls on far away that is a second one froth flotation method finely powdered ore water and oil they are taken in a container and we pass compressed air what happens it creates bubbles and foams the lighter particle like metals moves up it floats on and heavier particle like gang that is impurities settled down in this method in chemical method the finely powdered ores are mixed with the solvent metals which is soluble metals are soluble in this chemical the impurities are settled down they are insoluble then we can filter it the filtrate contains metals after concentration the next step is extraction that is preparation here the metallic oxide ore is reduced to metal according to their reactivity some elements they are highly reactive some are medium reactive and some are low reactive the high reactivity metals are reduced using electrolysis method and medium reactive elements reduced using carbon chemical method and low reactive elements are decomposed using uh, smelting method ores are mainly four types carbonate ores oxide ores sulfide ores and halide ores mainly we have uh, oxide ore and sulfide ore for oxide ore we use gravity process sulfide ore we use froth flotation method let us see in the extraction of uh, aluminium that is hall method we use iron container coated with graphite act as a cathode and carbon rod act as a anode the container contains creolite that is uh, uh, aluminium ore in molten condition when the current is passed Al2O3 aluminum settled down Al and oxygen moves up 
and it combined with the carbon and it forms carbon dioxide that is evolved. The extraction of copper. The extraction of copper. Copper is extracted from its ore copper pyrite. That is copper contains iron and sulfur. Copper sulfide and iron sulfide. From this we have to extract copper. That is we have to remove iron and sulfur. When CuFeS2 treated with oxygen that is roasted, it is separate as Cu2S and FeS. Then it is treated with again oxygen that is hot air, it forms FeO, ferric oxide and Cu2O, cuprox oxide. First we remove FeO using SiO2 that is silica, it is a flux, they combined and it forms FeSiO3, iron silicate as a slag. We can remove it. Then the remaining Cu2O, cuprous oxide, treated with Cu2S again, it forms copper and SO2, sulfur dioxide. This copper is called copper blister. It is 98% pure. Then we have to Purify. In this method, we need impure metal as anode, pure metal as cathode and electrolytic solution that is compounds containing dissolved in sulfuric acid. Now the current is passed, copper you know all the metals as positive charge, it moves to cathode end and settled there. That is the extraction of copper. That is the purification of copper. You know metal react with oxygen, it forms as metallic oxide. This metallic oxide, when treated with water, it gives metallic hydroxide. The metallic hydroxides, they are basic one. When metallic oxide, it is basic in nature. Then what about non-metals? Non-metallic oxides, they are acidic in nature. You have to keep in your mind, metallic mean basic nature, non-metallic mean acidic in nature. Aluminium with oxygen, aluminium oxide, aluminium with steam, you get aluminium oxide, aluminium with hydrochloric acid, aluminium chloride, with sulfuric acid, aluminium sulfate, with Fe2O3, we get aluminium oxide. Aluminium reduce Fe2O3 as Fe. Copper with oxygen, you get first cupric oxide. When further it is heated, it is changed as cuprous oxide, which is red in color. Like uh, copper with uh, hydrochloric acid, copper chloride with the sulfuric acid, copper sulfate with the nitric acid, we get copper nitrate. With the chlorine, we get copper chloride. Copper chloride, they are green in color and uh, copper sulfate, you know, blue in color. It does not react with the base. Electrolysis. We need three things. Anode, cathode, electrolytic solution to pass current. Anode act as anode. We take impure metal as anode. Simply we keep in mind AIM. Anode, impure. AIM. And the cathode, we take pure metal. Electrolytic solution, that is the compounds dissolved in acid or base. That is any solvent. The current is passed. Cation goes to cathode and anion goes to anode. You know all the metals are positive. So it that is anion, it moves cathode end and settled there. Thanks for watching. Next video, we shall see the remaining part of the lesson. If you like, subscribe it. Thanks.